providing us with a life, a left and a right hand. The left hand is at the state level. The right hand is at the federal level. That's how you get your Jim Crow, where certain states were saying no colors allowed, da 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 da, right? Meanwhile, the federal government is benign and neglecting you because they never wrote you and defined who your group of people is through law. So he didn't debunk anything. That's what confuses our people is we'll cite to state stuff. What we're talking about is federal. When we read the United States Constitution, we're talking federally. When the Civil Rights Acts came out during the MLK era, that was federal law that we were never defined in. That's what we're saying. So to go back to your question, it's jurisprudence, bro. We've never been recognized at the federal level and we're still waiting while we do this bill for somebody to show us something that came through Congress, the federal jurisdiction, where they recognize and define Negro, Black, colored, or Afro-American. Great question for me. The sooner we really understand what they're doing to us, we can move the needle. They've never recognized us at the federal level. They can do it at the state all day long. If the That's why we can't get a George Floyd act. Right. Didn't we vote? Didn't we vote Biden in for the federal government to protect us? Why has the federal government never passed the George Floyd Act? It can't do anything specifically for black people because you've never been written in law. Okay. It's, uh, as hard as that may sound for us, that's why we lose, bro. Okay. 